Hello, so I will basically just right now show you how to get the oops, um, uh, Unity Explorer. Uh, cause it's like if you don't want to mod it, uh, like you, I showed you earlier how to do like modding. Um, and then like I didn't record this though, but you have to download something like this. This what you have to download and then do stuff with it. That's like how you can. Because Grailtech made bypass, like they uh, did so you can't mod anymore, like they patched it. So I didn't make a video on that, but it is in my Discord. Now, if you don't want to use that, like if you don't want to use these mods, because you can only use them in modded lobbies, you can go to uh, Unity Explorer on my Discord, but I'm not forcing you to join my Discord. Like, I know most people don't want to, because. A lot of people just join the server to get mods, then they're leaving, or they just spam the server to be rude. So if you don't even want to join the lob, uh, server, this my Discord server, it's fine. Then you have to do it this way. You want to search up Unity Explorer. Uh, now, remember right here. Exactly this link. Like, remember this link, because there's a lot of other fake links, as you can see. Uh, and a lot of them are just fake like they're just viruses and remember that they are on github because github is a safe hub like most of the uh, like downloads on github are safe so i'm gonna go over here and then scroll down until you find the store releases it's below this little unity explorer icon is it find store releases name is bip nx mono now over here you press manual download so it should look like this. Um, then you can just close everything as long as you have it deleted. You have, want to go to your files now, and it should be right here. Uh, for, for you, it's maybe not a book, like I did something, so it's uh, pretty much almost extracted. Now you just want to drag it over here to your desktop. Now, ex uh, press extract all. The, for me, it's Swedish because my computer is Swedish and I'm Swedish myself. So, yeah, this is basically just extract all it should say for you. Uh, you press that and then extract. Now we should get another file. Yeah, here's the, another file. Mm, now, if you don't already have Monkey Mod Manager, because you will need that, that's like the biggest thing with modding so if you need to modding and you don't have monkey mod menu mon monkey mod manager go to my discord go to grill tag and just do it here or you can download it from the browser if you don't want to get it here so monkey mod manager on github here it is let's go over here and now download it from here you can see another video how to download it it's pretty simple uh and yes uh now with monkey mod manager you wanna open this one we can actually delete uh first off before you do that if you want to you can delete this one because we don't need it anymore like the old one Bef uh, uh okay so now you open this one you don't have to run it as um administrate or anything just keep it like this uh don't close it you can press the oh, i have two of these open you can just press the little button right here so you don't close it but you can't see it uh, or just keep it open you do whatever you want open monkey mod manager go to utilities and then uh bip nx folder plugins and here should all of your mods that you downloaded earlier be if you didn't download any mods it's fine what is this uh i just gotta remove that uh i'm removing that because i don't want that that was my this thing mm, okay now when we open your this one again uh and then just Take both of these at the bottom to be Generous Lib Mono DLL and Unity Explorer. Yes, drag over both of those so they're both highlighted, and then you. Uh, oh, 
then you just hold it in your left mouse button and you can drag it over and then release it here on plugins uh, we can close this window remove it if you want to up to you I'm just gonna remove it and voila you got it so if you want to see me use it like now to prove it to you guys that it actually works uh, my VR is charging right now so I can't go into my VR but I can go into Google Tag so if I close that and I close this uh, then I can open Gorilla Tag on Steam or whatever I'm using. I got Gorilla Tag right here because it works the same way. <clears throat> okay, uh, Steam you are not actually needed. Uh, oh yeah, th this might also pop up. Uh, yes, press OK. Now we're the we're in. Nothing of this was here before we downloaded it. Like. Not even this bar up here. Not this. Not this. Not this. If you, th this is just a log. We don't need it. So you can close that. Uh, let's see. Uh, and yeah, we're here. So now, uh, if you look at forest right here, you can see like the mountains. I can remove forest if I go to level. Uh, and I can forest. I press this. Wow, forest gone. Uh, I can remove the tree room too. If I remove the lower level, which I guess is pines, what well, lower level is gone. Uh, you can see that by these. Mm. And here's city and everything. S right now, city isn't loaded in, so that's why it's dark. And tree room is stump, so I can remove this and while wow, we're just going through the floor. Uh, it's fine because I will spawn right back here. They fixed it, so you don't go outside the game anymore. There's slots here. I don't know what that is. I guess it's lights outside or something. This is rocket ship. Like you can do whatever you want here. Um, we got a build manager. Global. Yeah, we have everything we wanted. So the object explorer is basically the biggest part of this. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff we can do. If I press here, we can go into like spectator mode. Uh, and that's to go back. I just hold in. Like if I have a small keyboard like me, I hold an F N and then I press seven. But if you have a large keyboard, just press F seven. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that helped to mod because I think you can use that in public lobby. I believe. Uh, you can prove me wrong in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, I think you can use it in public lobby, yes. or else I would probably scam everybody here. But yeah, that's basically everything you need to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't join the Discord server, it's absolutely fine. Just remember to leave a like. You don't have to subscribe, just leave a like. That would make my day. Because so I've, I've done like modding tutorial two times before, and that was like nine months ago. Then I got like 1,600 views, but only like 20 likes. Or sometimes 12. Like, I was super happy with it because I also got like 150 members of my Discord ball. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope this helps. Bye bye.